Hey, what's up guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're going to be working in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We're going to be doing a set of pavers here, which I don't think you guys have, been see have seen me uh, do these pavers before on the channel. Uh, these are leathered, uh, textured marble. So therefore, we're going to be using a waterproofer type sealer on there, which is Deco 20 is what I'm going to be using. There's a few other ones you can use as well, but Deco 20 is what we're going to be using for this project here. Um, like I said, it's a waterproofer. It doesn't have any color. It's a clear sealer. It's more so of a protectant. Um, we're going to show you guys the pavers, the whole process, uh, how, to, how to do it. It's a little different than um, doing uh, regular brick pavers. Uh, it's more so like doing travertine pavers. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you have any questions, hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video. So let's go check the job out. All right, so we got a beautiful set of pavers that were just installed um, about six weeks, about two months ago. Like I said, these are textured, leather textured um, marble pavers. So they kind of got a grip to it. So therefore, you know, it's not slippery, um, you know, like travertine would be. You guys won't be able to pick it up on camera, but you can see that, that those little indentations on there. That's that grip on this built into the pavers. Uh, you can see the color already. So being that they're like white, you know, you're not gonna get a, a shine off of them. I guess if you would put like a travertine sealer on here, probably would give you some shine. But uh, the Deco 20, which is the waterproof or the protectant, is not gonna give you any shine at all. Uh, you wanna start doing this early in the morning if you can, or late in the evening, for the simple fact that you don't wanna do it when it's too hot outside. Uh, you know, if it's like under, I would say between like under like 90 deg uh, 95 degrees will be a, a good uh, temperature to do it with. Right now we're doing it early in the morning, it's almost 8.30 before we start. She does have a stain right here on this one. This is the only one that has the stain on it. So we're gonna see if we can get that cleaned up. I'm not sure what kind of stain it is. So the pavers, are not, they're not super dirty, but we're gonna add about a 3% mix on here. And we're gonna soft wash the pavers. So after we add the mix, we're gonna let it sit and um, you know, work, do its magic, and then we're gonna rinse it off with the pressure washer. All right, so that's the project. This is the only job I'm doing a day. So, you know, shouldn't take too long, especially for a small day like that. Uh, we're not doing sanding on those type of pavers. Uh, the Deco 20 has <laughs> no sand uh, stability in it at all. It's just more, like I said, protected. So, the, plus those marbles, um, those slabs, they're not gonna move at all. Them things are heavy. So no sanding on, uh, on today's job. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, clean them, give them some time to uh, dry, and then uh, we can come back and uh, add uh, the silo on top. So y'all stay tuned. All right, we're gonna get started. Uh, like I said, we're using a 3% mix of sodium hypochlorite, which is chlorine. I know some people have asked me, you know, what, I, what do I mean by 3%? So the solution, you know, it comes as 12.5%, which is straight chlorine that, you know, you will put in your pool. But since that's too strong, I mean, you could add, you can spray it on certain spots if you're going to do a little spot treat real fast. And that's fine but for general cleaning you don't really need that strong of a solution so therefore we have to cut it down to a weaker solution to protect you know any fading paint or even some surfaces you can't add that strong of a mix it would definitely affect it so that's why we break it down to a smaller percentage most of your house washing and stuff like that is going to be, you know, 1%, maybe like 2%. That's going to be your, you know, your house wash mix. 
uh, your roof washing mix is always going to be like 5% and above. That will be your, your roof wash mix. Uh, soft washing, you know, decks like this. Uh, you can go anywhere in between, um, you know, 2 two to 4 percent. That's a good, that's a good um, ratio to be at. And how to get your ratio dip, uh, it varies, uh, depends on your system. Depends on your system. If you're using a, a proportionate system, you know, you got the mix valves, you can, um, you know, adjust your mix with the valves. If you're batch mixing without a proportioning system and you just have a tank, you're just mixing your own and you're trying to get the percentages, then uh, it becomes a little tricky. You know, just have to be up on your math a little bit. Um, there are some um, calculators built for that to get to your mix, which I have one as well. Um, I can uh, link it in the description for you guys, as well as um, link the video that I did on that. It shows you how to use it to get your uh, percentage to whatever you need from one to 12%, no matter how big your tank is. So we're just gonna apply this on here. Uh, give it a, probably like around a five to, five to six, five to seven minutes dwell time. And then um, we're gonna give this baby a rinse. As you guys can see, there's no algae on here at all. No algae at all. And it doesn't matter if it falls in the pool. Like I said, we're using sodium hypochlorite, which is chlorine, and chlorine is in the pool already. So it's not, <laughs> it's not gonna change the pool at all. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this thing on flush mode so I can flush the 12 volt out. And then we're going to come back with the pressure washer and uh, wash these pavers off. Looks like that stain is cleaning up, so, uh, cleaning up a little bit. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I just got done rinsing the deck down. Uh, there's no cage, <laughs> so when I'm sealing, I'm gonna be having to fight with like stuff flying onto it. But it is what it is. It's not many trees around here, so uh, now we just have to let it dry some, and um, you know, come back and do our thing. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, what I'm gonna use exactly and my little tools. So um, you can see right now it's wet. Uh, with the Deco 20, like I said, you want to apply it to a cool surface because you don't want it to flash dry. So you can't come out here at 1, 2 o'clock trying to do it in Florida. So you know you do it early in the morning or late in the evening when the sun's going down, which is not so hot. So we just got done cleaning now. It's 8.45. We're going to give it some time and uh, come back and do our thing. Y'all stay tuned. All right, you guys, we're back. Got me some breakfast, a little bit after 10 o'clock. Um, it's pretty much dry. I do see maybe a couple spots of moisture remaining. I don't know if you guys can pick it up on video. 
Let's see if I can get it. It's hard to see, but it's like, you know, a few remaining spots, which it's not that many. Under there, it's pretty much dry. Then we got a couple of spots here with standing water. Um, you know, you don't want that. You definitely want it to be all the way dry. Um, it's not completely ready. I can see some moisture spots here still. You know, this is dry. But I would say it's about 90% dry. I'm gonna give it uh, a little bit more time to soak up this moisture uh, before we start. But I'm gonna show you guys what I use, or what we'll be using for the project. I got my lid sprayer, which you can use a pump up for this. A uh, little pump up will work, a little two gallon pump up. And we are using the Deco 20, which is the clear. Let's see if I can spin this bucket around. This is it right here. Deco 20 clear. And this is what we're gonna be using. Um, we're gonna apply it with a mist coat, which is a misted on, on, on the pavers and let it soak in and any remaining puddles or anything like that that you have, we're gonna use a microfiber mop. You can get the old cedar. This is the HDX. They didn't have the old cedar brand and stock this morning at Home Depot. Uh, I took a picture for you guys. I put it up so you can see. Um, like I said, this is the microfiber mop. Uh, I, I bought an extra one of these socks just in case but uh, one probably would be done, uh, good enough for this so we're gonna apply with a mist coat on top let it sit and soak in and then we're gonna come behind with the microfiber and wipe off all the excess you don't want the excess to puddle and sit like regular papers because it's gonna turn white you don't want that so therefore Make sure you use that microfiber to make sure you have a nice, even um, surface with no puddles. So we're gonna let this sit for a little while. I'm gonna give it another, probably like another 20 minutes or so and see uh, how we're looking. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, I changed my mind. Cause under here, probably gonna get no sun for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use one of the mop heads that I bought to go ahead and uh you know help it dry soak up all this moisture before we um do our process speed it up speed it up I'm glad I bought two of them yeah definitely got some moisture sitting should dry up much better now So like I said guys, we're gonna start now. Uh, we're just gonna mist it on there. We're not gonna pull it like regular papers. We're just gonna mist it, let it soak in, and then uh, use the microfiber to get the excess. All right, let's go.
right, so the top section is done. Uh, one thing about this type of sealer, all you need is one, one coat. Because the second coat, once it's sealed, you can't add it on there. It won't even penetrate. They did give them a little tiny, tiny sheen from what I can see, but it's not super, super shiny at all like travertine would be. It's a nice color. So we're gonna get this section done over here, walk away out that way. Like I said, it's only one coat. You guys were working around you might be able to pick it up on camera where I stopped so this whole side is already sealed up here as well and I'm working towards this side you can see how dull this side looks compared to that uh, when you're doing the microfiber don't try to push down on it you're just gliding it at, to at the top. It's easier to pull back and push forward. So going backwards is the best way to go. Just lift it up at the end, pick it up, go like that. And don't push down too hard. You don't wanna, you know, you wanna make sure you glide across the top so you're not picking up all the product all in one spot and then you're gonna have streaks and stuff like that. So lightly pull back. Almost to the end and we'll do the top of this jacuzzi as well. You guys we all wrapped up here let's check it out we'll do a water test water test to show you how the water bounces off the pavers uh, if it's not sealed you know the water will just pull uh, if it's sealed it'll beat up so we're gonna test it now got me some water the customer gave me a little cooler with water and Gatorade so we're gonna do the test with the water find a good spot um, like I said if you put the water down it pulls it will turn that spot. You can see that spot just getting darker and darker and darker. That means the water is penetrating the pavers. If it just sits on top, you know it got seal on it. That's the same way you test for seal on driveways and stuff like that as well. So we're gonna test it now. Look at that. Look at that bead. You got the sun. See that water bead? It sits there. Oh. <laughs> Look at that water bubble just sitting right there. Do another one right here for you guys. Look at that big bubble. See, I'm going back over here now. Those are still there. It's not sinking in. This is sealed up. Uh, the pavers did get a little. Um, <laughs> I just smashed the water. You can see the little bees everywhere. <laughs> um, it did get a little bit of color, not a lot. It looks like almost like when I cleaned it, got a little bit darker, but this is not for color enhancement. You can buy some sealers like that, that has color enhancement, but this one is not, does not have it. So um, 
nice little project you know something different for you guys hope you enjoy the video guys make sure you like comment and subscribe um, I'll link everything for you guys that I used for this project uh, the, the microfiber mop like I said I got from Home Depot I got the Home Depot brand but you can get old cedar that's the that's the, the good brand but I mean that brand works just fine for me it's the same exact thing and um, usually I use let me get my other sock before I forget I use these for travertine um, and I have I've washed them before and we used them uh, this one here was I just I used this to drop the water but with the clear sealer uh, it's not gonna hurt it you can still wash it and reuse it again so they're still good all right y'all well that's it for the day I only got one project in, uh, one project lined up for today so I'm gonna relax maybe edit, edit some videos for you guys and uh, if you got questions just ask and I got y'all y'all stay tuned I'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace